Hello Bandits. Today we're taking a look at the Stealth Tactics title from Mimi Me, Me, Me and Daedalic Entertainment, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Being an old school gamer, this title has really hit my nostalgia buttons as it's transported me back around 20 years to when I first stumbled upon commandos behind enemy lines. Though set in feudal Japan, Shadow Tactics really is a spiritual successor to the commandos titles, and if you're a fan of the genre, it's likely to push all the right buttons for you too. With five different characters spread out over your different missions, your Shogun team will work to bring peace to the region and hold it through 13 different missions, each with their own different layouts and targets. Working as a team, you must take advantage of each member's unique abilities and overcome the odds to complete your mission, and most times, escape the area. It's a title for those who do like the slower, methodical approach and best played as stealthily as possible without raising alarms. If you're a fan of the playstyle, you'll likely get along very well with Blades of the Shogun, but for those seeking fast-paced action, it's not going to be one for you. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is officially rated by Peggy at 16, and I'll run that down for you here. Violence 7 the isometric view does take you away from the action a little, but if you choose to kill rather than knock out your opponent, the attacks are usually brutal and at least a little bloody. Drugs 3 Not a great deal present, but your samurai character has a bottle of sake which you can use as a law for some enemy guards. Discrimination, fear, gambling, online sex and language all get zero, having no part in shadow tactics whatsoever. If anything, we'd recommend leaving this for the older children just for the difficulty levels and mechanics, which could leave some frustrated. But how does it stack up overall? Graphics 8. While they're not aiming for realistic, the cartoon visuals are well realised. It may have been nice to see more distinct art style, but what they've done has been done well. Story 8. To be honest, we weren't really expecting much in the way of a story, but the character progression and narrative is quite strong throughout. Sound 8. A nice soundtrack and some great voice acting, though we are disappointed to see it's a noticeably western cast. Replayability 7 If you play the game the way we do, you'll be loading your last save every few minutes. Shadow Tactics makes this easy with a timer warning if you haven't saved in a while, and with one press quick save options. The levels themselves are varied, and while most of the action stays roughly the same, you do have targets to hit for each level, giving you a reason to go back and collect all. Satisfaction 8 We've definitely enjoyed our time with Shadow Tactics, so it's certainly worth noting this is not a game for those with little patience or who are wanting fast action. There's a lot of sit and think time with Blades of the Shogun, whether you're looking over guards' paths or calculating your best route and which guards to remove from the arena first. If you're a fan of the genre, however, it's an absolute winner. That's all from us today. Don't forget to check out the full extended review as well as more gaming news, opinion and humour at pixelbandits.org or subscribe here to keep up with just about everything.